Some people love animals more than they love their own family. Hey, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? You're about to see some video of a man playing with lions. That's right. Call himself the Lion Whisperer. Now, of course, I got to say, don't try this at home, okay? Everyone you've seen this video are professionals, but this guy lives with lions. You're going to see how he interacts with them. You're going to see how he rides on them. This is just amazing, y'all. So please, you don't want to miss this because this is something that you really see. Some people love animals more than they love. So off the bat, you see this guy is in is wearing a nice suit and he's in Africa next to a lion. It's a good scene. Uh, I'm not going to lie. A guy looking very, very professional next to an African beautiful beast. Wow. But I see what he's trying to do. It's clever. Love their own families. If you've never heard of the Beast Buddies, prepare for a world of big egos, big cats, and big money. Because these animal owners are so obsessed with their exotic pets, they risk sanity and safety. Now, this guy decided to sit on a very large crocodile. Once again, please do not try this at home. To live together. These are people who brought... Now, this is a large anaconda and she has it around her neck. And the problem with that is that anacondas are the strongest snakes in the world and she could get choked out by accident. So please, this is not a, a smart thing to do. Some of the most dangerous or unusual animals into their homes or left society. Now, of course, this is a wolf. Society to go and live with them completely. We're not sure if these guys qualify. So this guy has a jaguar and a tiger and more animals as pets. Wow, beautiful, but be very, very careful with that. I'm just saying, because they still have instincts. Fly as animal owners, or if it isn't the other way around. In any case, today, we're talking men who've joined wolf packs, grannies who've moved in with bears, and even a man who's adopted a pet alligator. I actually did a video on this guy before. He has a pet alligator for support. Some people have dogs and cats for support, emotional support. He has an alligator. What's wrong with that, y'all? <laughs> for emotional support. So, hold on tight and get ready to meet the seven craziest beast buddies in the world. Number seven, Kevin Richardson, the Lion Whisperer. So Richardson is a lion whisperer. He does very well with lions, knows how lions behave, how they interact. And lions, he has, a, basically lions are set him into the um, pride. So this is very, very unique. Meet Kevin Richardson, also known as the lion whisperer, is famous for getting dangerously close to some of the world's largest wild cats. Every five... Yeah, he's very good with big cats, okay? All types of cats, but especially lions. And he named the Lion Whisperer for a reason. Our being would tell us not to cozy up with animals as dangerous as lions. But it's clear that Richardson's lions don't... Now you have to admit, this is a gorgeous lion for dark mane. Just gorgeous. Don't plan on eating him. He doesn't at all seem pre preoccupied around them at all. Quite the opposite, in fact. They snuggle up to him like lazy house cats and even nap in a pile with him. This doesn't mean he's domesticated them in any way, but they do tolerate him rather peacefully. It's a That's a very important note. Just because he's friends with these lions, these lions are not domesticated animals. They're still wild. They're tame, but they're still wild. They're not domesticated. Basically, they're not farm animals. That's, that's a very good distinction. It's as if they've let him into their pride somehow, as if he were an odd, furless, human-shaped lion. Be it as it may, Kevin Richardson's unique relationship with some of Africa's apex predators has opened many doors and captivated the imagination of many people throughout the world.